So over the past year, my accessories for the X3 have significantly grown. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the X3 accessories that I use and some that you may not have heard about that could help enhance your Insta360 X3 experience. There's a lot to get through, but first, I wanna talk about this. This is their new Moto Bundle Kit. It comes with every X3 purchase when using my affiliate link in the description below. But this is the upgraded one. So, a nice little upgrade that's happened in the latest Moto Bundle Kit is this clamp right here. So have a look at this claw mount here. So this is the new one out of the new Moto Bundle Kit. It's way more sturdy, way more secure. That's as tight as I can get it. And yeah, that's a significant amount of less wobble, which is always good. And you also get a key to tighten up your clamp with in the new Moto Bundle Kit as well. So you have no risk of it now, just slopping around, sliding around. That is on there nice and solid. It's not going anywhere and just keep that on your person. And also they've got these cool flexi mounts now. So instead of these little hard plastic guys with some are curved, some are flat, they've now got these ones that are just full blown, full blown flexi, which is cool. Stick on your tank, stick on your helmet, curved surfaces, flat surfaces, it's gonna have your back. They've got everything you need to get your Insta360 X3 on your motorbike so that you can head out and start filming, baby. And don't forget, if you use my affiliate link in the description below, you will get one of these with every X3 purchase. So this here is your most basic setup, or the setup that you're probably used to the most. Insta360 is screwed into the invisible selfie stick, and the invisible selfie stick goes invisible magically. So every time you hit record, that just disappears and makes it look like you got a cool floating shot of a drone tracking you or something like that. Very clever, very clever tech. So Insta360 have a selfie stick, an invisible selfie stick that's um, got a tripod built into it. Now it's, that's good, that's really cool, but the only issue is is that when you want to screw it onto your bike, there's nowhere to actual, actually screw into. So they have this mount and this is just a base. This is a tripod base for your selfie stick. So you can just screw this in here, screw that in, You've now got a little tripod. You can throw that right up and you can you can just put it there like that. And now you've got the Insta360 filming in its wicked 360 degree bubble. Very clever way to grab a third person shot of yourself pulling up to a scene or something cool like that. Very handy, the tripod base, must have. I also use this selfie stick, so I'll take the Insta360 off at my campsite and I use this as my light stand. So then I just screw on a little, um, little LED light on the top and then that's my full on light stand. This is probably one of my favorite accessories and it's one that I use all the damn time. This is their GPS remote. So it is just a basic remote control. Super responsive as well. If you're into 360s out of reach while you're riding and everything, and you don't wanna be leaning around on your bike, trying to find it, trying to stop it, this is just the most simplest way to get it recording and then to get it to stop as well. And then you can even shut off your Insta360 using this as well. So you just hold down the power button, that's turned off, and then you press the power button again, and then the GPS remote turns off as well. So when you use the GPS remote, you'll actually start logging all the data of your ride. So we're talking elevation, speed, all that cool stuff. And you can turn that on via the Insta360 Studio app. If you use the GPS remote, you'll be prompted with a little toggle where you can turn it on and off and you can start moving around all the gauges around on the screen. You can choose which ones you want to keep on or keep off. It's a really cool way to just see what you, what you did and how your ride was and um, how fast you were going. So you may notice these little guys these are wind muffs that you can stick on your Insta360 microphone. So your microphones are located on either side of the Insta360. It's not this one here, that's your speaker, and they're not the two front ones either. I'll get to that in a minute while these things are on there. But basically it just reduces the wind noise and every little bit of wind noise that you can reduce is better in my opinion. And these are located on the side so they're out of the camera view as well. So they're on the stitch line so they go invisible too, which is really cool. The reason why I have these little guys down here, so they're basically just Velcro and they just stick on like that. And the reason why I have them down there is literally so that when I put the lens cover on, they're not gonna get all covered up in any way. And this way, they're just on your camera all the time. And then of course, on this one here, we have the lens guards. So these protect your lens from any scratches or any drops that you might have. Uh, and I have had a couple, so these do come in really handy. This one's very cool and I, I didn't even know they had this. I checked at their website and there it was. Horizontal action mount, or as I like to call, the super easy to mount 
on your helmet mount. <laughs> so instead of having all your, all your mounts and everything like what I used to do, I used to come out sticking like this and have it all angled up and everything. Insta360 now have this little bad boy, fits perfectly in the, in the action mount, just screw in the base like that and then that is it. Mount this to your helmet mount, it's nice and snug, nice and secure, just make sure you've got the front camera only on, that way you've got your nice little POV, you've got lean sensation as well. Very, very clever little piece of kit. Must have if you're moto vlogging with the Insta360 by itself. So good. Now one thing to be mindful of is that when you go into single lens mode, the aspect ratio is the wrong way around. So this is 16 by nine vertically with the camera vertically. So because we're gonna be going horizontal, so what you're gonna do now is tap on the 4K 30 frames and then these settings pop up. You're just gonna tap 16 by nine and you're gonna change it to nine by 16. It may feel like it's wrong, but because we're shooting horizontally, that nine by 16 now turns into 16 by nine. Extra batteries. I always take one battery with me when I go on my camping trips and stuff or long rides. Just in case. Just in case you forget to leave it on and it just goes dead you don't have a charger with you. Extra battery. It's lighter than a battery pack and cable and everything. Then just switch it out once it goes flat. And now to charge your batteries, you'll probably want to grab yourself the fast charge hub. It saves you just having to charge your batteries through the X3. You can charge multiple ones at once and you're, you're loaded and ready to go. One for the phone editors, the X3 Quick Reader. I love this thing. I've used this many times and I've shown you guys how it works in my other videos. You just remove the micro SD card out of the X3, put it straight into this, load that into your iPhone. It all loads up or instantaneously and you can start editing on the fly with that plugged in without having to wirelessly transfer any content, which can take some time. This is awesome. I highly rate it. It works very, very well. The X3 mic adapter, the perfect way to moto vlog with your X3 is by grabbing one of these guys, plug it into the side of your X3, plug in your external mic into the mic adapter, hit the road, baby. Chat all you want. Very small. Oops, nice. Very small, very light, very, very, very nice. Look at this. Look at how smooth this road is. It's so smooth. Not a bump. The name says it all. It's a quick release adapter that you can put in between your Insta360 and whatever mount you want. Press the button, disconnect, go shopping, come back, load it back up again, boom, right off. It's pretty cool. Just take note that if you do put it on the selfie stick, it is made out of metal and it adds weight to the end of the selfie stick and you're just gonna get that wobble again. But it's, uh, you know, it's quick. The X3 utility frame. This is probably the one that I just never use. I've never used this. I like it. It makes the camera more rugged and more robust and everything. You've got some cold shoe mounts and you've got these little boys down the bottom that flick down so you can mount it onto your, your helmet even or whatever. But I just haven't really needed it. It adds weight to the camera as well, which makes it wobble more. But, you know, if you guys think that this could come in handy for you, it's, um, it's made really well. Yeah, all the different mounting options and everything. It's pretty cool. Insta360 have their own helmet mount adapter. I don't really use this one either. I use my other one, it's all completely blacked out. It's a little bit smaller as well, but they do have them. So if you get stuck for finding one of these, you know that Insta360 do have their own. This is the tripod that I was telling you about just earlier when we were out there in the field. So this is their tripod selfie stick, but you can't unscrew it and just mount this up to your bike or whatever. So it just sort of stands and then and then that's it. It's still pretty cool though, if that's all you want to use it for. But yeah, otherwise I'd highly just recommend just using this one because you can screw anything onto it. And it's just easy to pack in your bag. Where you go. The X3 screen protector protects your screen. Tempered glass. If you're worried about those rocks flicking up and smashing your screen, grab yourself one of these and that'll protect it for you. And finally, the vibration dampener. So I've never had to use this, but there has been an instance where I stuck the Insta360 RS onto a Formula Ford and the vibrations from the, the car and the circuit and the, the rigidness of the frame, I guess, it threw the gyro calibration way out. So it's just spinning around. The poor little RS had no idea what the hell was going on. I haven't since gone out and mounted my camera up to the Formula Ford again, but if I do, or you're riding on an old school bike that's super rigid, vibration dampener, baby. Well, there are the accessories that I use. Some are new, some have just hit the, hit the market, like the Moto Bundle Kit. In the description below, you'll find the two links. One's the affiliate link for the X3, where you'll get the Moto Bundle Kit for free. And the other one is to all the accessories that I've just spoken about just now. Thank you so much, Inza360, for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.